In this tutorial, I'm just going to experiment with a few different things in Symfony. And some of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to rename a variable in a view. And I'm also going to rename a controller and rename a bundle. So I'm just starting off here at Symfony's databases and doctrine page. And I'm going to copy this line of code right here, which is going to let us create a bundle inside the Acme namespace that comes with Symfony. So I'm just going to copy this here and then go into git bash. And you'll see that I'm already inside my Symfony folder right here. So I'll just use the insert key to uh, paste this in here and press enter. And we'll come into our bundle generator. And most of these you're just going to press enter to to confirm them. Uh, for the configuration format, this time I'm just going to press enter. So we use annotation this time. And yes, we want the whole directory structure. And yes, we want to update the kernel and the routing. So we can now start using the generated code. So if we go over to Aptana here and we open up the Acme folder, we'll now see a store bundle folder inside that. And we can open that up and go into our controller and open up our default controller. And I'm also going to go into resources and then views, default, index.html.twig, which has the view for this controller. So the first thing that I want to do inside my controller is I want to change this hello to store. And let's just go over to our browser here and try to open that up. So because this default controller's index action should take a parameter, we should put store and then slash something else like ABC store. And then here we'll get ABC store. And what I want to do now is just go over to the view for this. And I want to change hello to uh, the store name is, and I want to change name to store name. Let's refresh here and see what happens. And you'll see that we get an error here that the store name does not exist. And the way to fix this is just to go over to your controller, and you'll see that this associative array is being uh, returned here. And we just need to change this name here to store name. And then we'll refresh here and we'll see that this is working now. So the next thing that I want to do is see how to rename my bundle. Um, so I'm just going to go back over to Aptana here and the store bundle folder I'm just going to rename this to Superstore Bundle. And then inside the default controller uh, under namespace I'm just going to change this to Superstore Bundle as well. And let's just refresh here to see what we got. And we'll see we get a fatal error and this was not found. Acme store bundle was not found in appkernel.php. So let's go take a look at appkernel.php and that's in the app resources folder. And we'll see here we have this new Acme store bundle uh, slash Acme store bundle. So we're just going to put the super in front of this and then another one in front of the next part and let's refresh again and now we'll see we're getting this message again that it's not found um, what we need to do is go back into our um, src acme and then superstore bundle and we'll see at the bottom we have a file called acme store bundle.php so let's just rename that to acme superstore bundle.php and let's open this up and then for the namespace, we're going to put super in front of store bundle. And also for the class name, we're going to put a super in front of that too. And let's refresh here and see what we get. And now we're getting a message that we cannot load resource Acme store bundle slash controller. Uh, make sure the bundle is correctly registered in the kernel class. Well, we, are, we know we already changed appkernel.php. So the next place that I want to look is inside on the app config folder and then go to routing.yml and we'll see here the resource is still set to Acme store bundle so I'm just going to change this to super now and hope that this works and we'll see that it's working now so basically that's all the steps you need to take to rename your bundle and the next thing that I want to do is just see how to rename a controller so going back to app 10 here and then um, under my Superstore Bundle folder, I'm going to open up Controller. And I'm going to change this default controller 
and I'm going to rename this to um, ABC Store Controller. And we can also just open up that controller and then we should um, rename this from default controller and we'll change that to ABC Store Controller. And let's refresh here and see what we get. And now we're going to get a message that we're unable to find template um, Acme Superstore Bundle and then colon ABC Store index.html.twig. So what we can see from this is the relationship between the controller name and the folder that holds the view. So if I go into resources here and then views, you'll see this folder is called default. So this folder name has to match up with the controller name. So I'm just going to change default here to um, ABC Store, exactly the same as the controller name. And let's go back to the browser and refresh here. And we'll see that that's working. So that's just a little bit of experimentation with Symfony and just to get a better idea of how the mapping is working inside of it.